Hey guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. Today we're going to talk about wind in the yurt. blowing the insulation on the top of the roof so that is one thing that you do hear and it's not that big a deal but it does happen um, another thing to deal with is a little bit of movement the yurt kind of shakes every once in a while if a good gust comes down low and catches it um, after realizing about the wind, we are very happy with the placement of the yurt. We have it in the woods, obviously, as you've seen in the other videos, and we were questioning whether to get an open plot, and we were going to go that way, and we're kind of happy that we did not, because if the yurt was situated in an open plot, it would be very, very windy. Um, we're on the downside of a hill as well so a lot of the um, south to north wind actually goes over top of us and be aware that in a high wind area like an open plot it will be blown constantly and ruffled constantly and you will hear the bubble insulation if that's the way you decide to go uh, ruffling a little bit one of the main questions that we get when we have guests is hopefully you guys can hear that big gust rolling through hearing the wind is nice but the ruffling is not so so nice but it's not too bad here as I said uh, getting back to my previous statement one of the main questions we have when we have guests over is is that the wind because it literally sounds like a freight train sometimes and if you are not used to that it's definitely uh, maybe even terrifying at some points to some people um, I know that <clears throat> as an avid outdoorsman uh, I hike a lot and do a lot of night hikes. Uh, I hear the wind and hear the rain and hear storms a ton. And even when the wind blew for the first couple times we spent in here, I was a little nervous myself. The dome is another thing to watch with the wind. If you do have it open and it is windy, it can definitely catch it. Um, it does have latches that you can secure it down with. Right now we only have the springs in. And not this windstorm, but the last one, uh, we actually heard the dome cup a little bit. So we're very glad that it didn't grab it harder and kind of rip it off because that probably would have been pretty terrible. Um, so if you are in a high wind zone, make sure you use those locks and latch your dome down. Thank you for sticking with us and watching our little wind update. Uh, if you have any other questions or comments, jot that down in the comment section below. Please like and share, and check out our other videos, and we'll check you soon. Thanks. Peace.